Hey there, this is Chad from Zombie Fight Shark. Welcome back to the final section of our Subtractor tutorial. So, we've covered almost everything. We have covered oscillators, filters, filter envelopes, amp envelopes, mod envelopes, LFOs, velocity, and now in this final section we're going to talk about the external mod and these couple of few buttons here and then one of my favorites, one of the nearest and dearest pieces of this little beast the mod wheel what what do we got here i've i've uh, i've adjusted a bunch of things here so it doesn't sound like anything crazy you know we got some filter going on um more importantly than what i've adjusted about the patch um is i have i have changed all of these little knobs here i've played with all of these knobs the filter, obviously I've done a couple things there, but I've also changed this LFO so that when I move this mod knob, it's going to affect certain things. So before we get into the, that's the fun part though. First, let's talk about this external modification select. Um, I don't have anything that I can use this with, I hate to say, um, but um, so what does it do? If if you have something that has aftertouch or you have something that has an expression um, envelope or something, a knob, then then if you or or you have a breath controller, which is I, I think pretty rare, um, then that that's where this comes in. And using those things with subtractor, I, I'm sure this opens up a whole new can of worms that I just haven't got to explore because I don't have anything that has this. Uh, I think I might have a keyboard that has aftertouch, but um, but yeah, that's that's what these are for. So if you have a MIDI instrument that has any of these options, then that's something to play with and and th this is pretty self-explanatory if this is if you've been through all the other tutorials then at this point you know what this lfo one you know it's talking about this lfo one and the amount of what's there the amp the it's the it's this it basically is doing the same thing that your velocity would do only you're controlling it with a different method you're controlling it with aftertouch you're controlling it with an expression wheel or pedal or whatever you got and then or a breath controller so and then same thing with fm frequency modulation so that's as much as I can go into that. Um, and uh, maybe somebody who has one of those controllers that or something that has all these things, uh, maybe they can do a tutorial and um, send me a send me an email and I'll link I'll link to you uh, so you can explain that stuff. Uh, polyphony, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but very important. Um, if you have a polyphony of one, you cannot play chords. It's only gonna play one note at a time. And um, portamento, one of the most important things in uh, synth-like music is being able to slide between notes, and then you take it to its extreme, and it's you just on a slip and slide of synthesizer. Oh yeah. So, um, one polyphony. There it is. That's how you make a lead instrument right there. Or you want to make a bass that isn't going to get, uh, you're not going to be walking all over your fingers and uh, that sort of thing. Uh, and sometimes it's fun to just play chords and then change the polyphony to one and you can get some fun effects too. Um, so lead, there it is. Um, so what is this little thing? Low BW, low bandwidth. Um if I'm being facetious, uh, low bandwidth is if your computer can't hack it. Um, this is, I'm going to say kind of a, it's not really a necessary button anymore because low bandwidth these days and you can't run a subtractor, you're in trouble. Uh, you don't have much computer power at all, but where this is great is as an effect. And sometimes it doesn't do much. Sometimes it's really noticeable. But um, let's see. Let's change our polyphony here. We probably we we got 99 fingers. Um, so so you can hear it lowered the bit depth, or at least that's what it sounds like to me. It's really subtle, and sometimes it's very obvious what it's doing, and sometimes it's not so obvious. Um, 
Let's try it again. Yeah, so you can hear that it's 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 uh, you know, uh, for those of you who uh, remember when MP3s were all like 128k back in the day, you know, it reminds me of that. Um, so if you're making something lo-fi or you want to just you want to bit crush something and you don't have a bit crushing rack extension or VST, uh, but you're using subtractor for whatever reason, um, that's something that you can do to kind of lower the quality. So uh, something to explore. Again, I use it as an effect every now and again. Um, I couldn't tell you the last time I had to turn that on um, because uh, it was using too much power for my processor. Um, Legato, uh, so your your mode here, your key mode, legato or retrigger, um, pretty important when it's a bass or a lead. Um, so frequently, you're going to want to use that legato mode on um, on on monophonic stuff. Versus, you'll hear the attack on every note. Legato. So you get the idea, I hope. Um, so, uh, so, so they're both good. For, they're both good for different things. Um, and uh, every once in a while, I I will just play with uh, while it's in polyphonic, play with the portamento, turn it on legato mode. You, you just you never know what you're gonna get. So uh, something to explore. Okay, very last thing. We have saved the best for last. The pitch bend mod. Um, pitch bend, uh, been around since the eighties. I'm sure you know what it is. Um, it bends the note. Uh, best in you, best used in moderation, uh, cause it gets annoying really fast if you're just pitch bending like crazy, but modulation wheel, here we go. So here, what's our sound? What do we got here? It's a D minor. Saddest of all keys. Totally change the character of what we're doing. Related character in this case, but still changed it. Uh, let's sweep the frequency the other direction. So what's going on? Let's talk about it. Filter frequency. So this filter frequency over here, um, this filter frequency plus this filter envelope plus that amount, all of those things play into how this will be affected. Um, and easiest easiest thing to do is when you you reset the entire patch and play with it with no, nothing there, and you'll see like oh it doesn't do much of anything. Um, it's just a dead knob. Um, so sweet sweeping the frequency up when we're going up with the mod wheel versus sweeping the frequency down. Um, so there you go. Filter resonance. So same thing, resonance, sweeping the resonance up or down as it were. Um, so this is probably going to distort. <laughs> super resonant so if we boost that resonance all the way up and then we want to cut the resonance when we sweep the mod so it cuts some of that resonance out so there you go that's how this affects that uh lfo one so the amount of what this lfo one to hear how it affects the sound so right now i've got it with the mix so I've got the LFO affecting the mix. So let's change it to FM. And it's gonna affect FM. Let's make it more obvious. You can hear that. 
so there you can hear the LFO affecting the FM. You adjust the amount, and it's affecting this. So you can see how it all kind of li starts li starts linking together. Um, now let's see phase same idea as before this phase let's get them out of phase just a little bit and so get those two out of phase and you're moving this it's affecting how much this phase is in or out as you're moving the mod wheel. and then last but not least the FM, um, you're, you're, as you're moving the mod wheel. So that's a very noticeable effect. You're, you're increasing the amount of, of frequency modulation. So that's the, that's the end of it. That's, that's everything. Um, those are all of the different sections of the subtractor. Uh, might make some supplemental sections. So technically this is the last official, uh, subtractor tutorial, but, um, there's, there's most likely going to be more cause there's a lot, there's a lot more that could be said. Uh, and there's some tips and tricks, um, that c I could definitely add to this. But, uh, anyways, um, I hope you will start playing with the mod wheel, um, because it's beautiful and weird and just makes strange things happen in the same way that when you hit this inverted envelope, like y you start inverting things and you're just like, you get unexpected results and you end up, you know, you, you think you're going to the moon and you end up on Mars. Um, so just uh, spend some time with uh, with all of these things and uh, make some beautiful music. Um, and be sure to shoot me a link to some of your stuff because I want to hear what you do when you start playing with the subtractor. Uh, so thanks for spending all this time with me and uh, learning about subtractor. And uh, I hope that you'll download the uh, release that's accompanying these videos um, it's uh, called less is more uh, and it's uh, over a thousand subtractor patches um, if you like it and you appreciate stuff like this then um, you can throw me a couple of bones on the download um, or dollars you know however you uh, do cash um, anyways thanks for listening it's been a blast and uh, see you next time cheers